everyone my name is Demi and if you couldn't tell by the intro today we're gonna be doing something a little different and exciting um, this is a new segment that I want to start on my channel and I'm calling it yarn battle but really it's just a yarn comparison and review and I also want to give a disclaimer all opinions are my own <laughs> um, they are not your opinions and that is 100% okay if we have a differing opinion and I think that's actually great because if the you know if we all had the same opinion on everything the world would be a very boring and mundane place and that's not what we want so just because I think a certain way about a certain yarn doesn't mean that it's true and it doesn't mean that you have to agree if in fact if you disagree comment it down below because I would love to know you know your suggestions or your points let's have a conversation about this let's have a conversation about yarn it's they're the best conversations to have right <laughs> so go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified uh, when I post videos because I am posting a few here and there but without further ado let's get into it okay so the first yarn that or the yarns that we're going to be re reviewing today you kind of saw in the intro <laughs> but I'll just show you again um I have I went and I purchased two different colors in these yarns just because I wanted to have options for you and show that they're very similar they come in kind of the same the same color ways not the same exactly but a lot um the first one that i'm going to be reviewing is karen simply soft this is like the og of yarns i th when you like first start out crocheting you probably search or knitting you probably search a crochet hat or a crochet scarf or a knit scarf knit hat and it's usually going to be with the four weight four worsted weight acrylic yarn that's like the to go to for like beginner level patterns right and then you go to the store and you're like okay I need a four weight yarn and then you see her and you're like okay that's kind of what happened to me and and uh, this yarn is great I will talk more about it in the video but this is the first one. I happened to look over to the right in my Michaels and right next to Karen Zipley Soft was this yarn. This is Soft and Shiny by Loops and Threads. And Loops and Threads is a yarn that's a, a yarn brand exclusive to Michaels. You can only find this guy at Michaels. And I immediately was like, whoa. Something's up. These these two look so similar. And then I saw this one. I was like, it's a little bit shinier. It's really soft. I'm just, I'm going to try it, right? So I tried it. And I made my fiance a mint cowl out of it. Um, and it's like, my that's one of like my all-time favorite things that I've ever made for him. And I kind of attribute it all to this yarn, you guys. Um, I have a lot to say about this and we'll, again we'll get into the comparison a little bit but this is number two to the yarns that I think are similar and again if you have any more yarns that you want to add to this bundle that I'm about to like compare comment them down below I would love to know if there's more if there are more yarns that are similar to these guys I'm sure there are but you know if we're gonna get to the last one the last one I was strolling around in Hobby Lobby one day and I saw this and I was like whoa this looks familiar and it is Yarn B Soft Secret. Now Yarn B is a brand that's exclusive to Hobby Lobby just like Loops and Threads is to Michaels and I saw him and immediately I was like okay this guy reminds me of someone else I know. He reminds me of his neighbor here, Loops and Threads, uh, Soft and Shiny, and he reminds me of K. 
Karen, Simply Soft, they look like they could be best friends. <laughs> so I picked them up and I've actually never used this guy before. The first time I've ever worked with him is actually for this video. So I was really excited to try him out and see what he had to offer and bring to the table. And we'll get into what I thought about him a little later. But look at these guys. They're so similar, right? They're even in the same colors. Um, the color names, so the Yarn Be Soft and Secret is Forest. And then the Loops and Threads is Parsley. And Karen Simply Soft is Dark Sage. So we got Sage and Parsley, guys. Um, and then I also picked these up in... A red color which these are what I used for these swatches so you will see these guys a little bit later but um very similar color so before I jump into the swatches I'm going to go shopping I'm gonna go online shopping so I'm gonna insert those videos here for you and in those videos you're gonna see the prices because of course we have to talk about prices and compare the prices and we're gonna talk about colors because that's a huge thing I know people love Karen Sibley soft because of the colors that are available in this yarn and you know when it's it's so great for projects because you have just a plethora of different colors to use so I show you a little more about that and what the other guys have to offer but Without further ado, let's get into that shopping video so you can kind of get a little more of a rundown on these yarns. And then I'm going to jump into the swatches and show you how these work up and give you a little more on like the weight and yardage and such. And then we'll conclude the video. So <laughs> I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's get into this. The first yarn I want to compare or start the comparison with is Karen Simply Soft. And I'm going to start at Michael's. I am also going to pull up Joanne so that I can show the price of this yarn there and then the colors that are available at Joanne's because I think there may be different color options available. But also remember that what is showing online may not be available in your store and vice versa. Um, it may only be available online and not in store. Online and not in store. So with Karen Simply Soft, I think it's important to note that like Michaels currently has this 20% off all regular price purchases coupon available and in store and online. That coupon is usually always available at Michaels. It's either 20% off or 40% off. So 99% of the time you should never or will never have to pay full price for Karen Simply Soft. If you can't use this coupon, then chances are that Karen Simply Soft is on sale, which also does happen quite often. Like right now, it's buy one, get one 50% off on Karen Simply Soft. But I'm going to focus on the retail value, which is $4.79 each. So let's remember that number for Karen Simply Soft. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the color options available. There are 47 colors at Michael's and... I'll just scroll through them pretty quickly. So this specific color is actually on clearance for $177 right now. So just take a look around. Um, but for the purpose of this purposes of this video, I'm going to go off of the regular price that it would sell for. The color options are nice. They do have some really bright colors, kind of neon pops of color, and they have a couple pastels, but not very many. Like, there's a really bright pink right, right here. So that's really cool. And I do also want to point out that with Michaels and Karen Simply Soft, you have the solids, but... You also have some really cool ombres. You have these paints, um, different paint yarns, and then you have them available in the stripe option as well, and then a camo. So you don't just have the solid option. So let's keep in mind that Karen has 
a ton or it has 47 i believe it was 47 color options and then on top of that it has all these other varying types of yarn so the stripes and camo and paints so let's hop over to joann's and take a look at karen simply soft there next Okay, we are now on the Joann's website. Joann's also always usually has a 40 or a 20% off of a regular priced item. So you should never be paying the full price for Karen Simply Soft. But again, we're going to just look at the... We are going to take a look at the regular price for this video. Um, because even if it's on sale, usually it will determine like where to buy it is you know, more expensive and whatnot. So... Actually, right now, Karen Simply Soft is on sale for $2.99, all Karen Simply Soft yarns. But again, we're looking at that $4.99 price tag. So it looks like Karen is averaging from $4.79 at Michaels to $4.99 at Michaels. That would, that's about what you can expect to pay for, for this yarn, kind of i mean you can always get it on sale for pretty cheap like 2.99 right now but we're going we're going to base it off its retail value it joann's has 52 color options so it has i think a lot more pink options there's a really pretty neon orange that lavender blue is a pastel it's got some yellows green so the color options are nice here. What I'm not seeing are any of the like striping ones. So let me go back a second and see if they have them elsewhere. Yeah, so Joann's has a speckle, the tweed. I love the Karen Simply Soft tweed. They have the stripes soft bites they have the ombre paints ombre and paints okay and then they have a bright collection so karen simply soft i'm gonna say definitely has what it has going for it is 100 percent the color options that you have available right now and then the price is averaging anywhere from 479 to 499 depending on where you're gonna buy it Next yarn that we're going to take a look out at is Soft Secret by Yarn Bee, which is a Hobby Lobby brand. So I'm on Hobby Lobby's website right now. And again, just like with Michaels and Joann's, I want to note that there will most likely be a coupon available for you to use. So you should not get this at full price. Wait till that coupon comes out. If it's not already out, I think it's kind of standard, um, but you can get this for cheaper than the retail price. The Soft Secret Yarn by Yarn Bee retails for $4.99, which is exactly the same price as Karen Simply Soft is at Joann's. So let's let's take a note of that. It is it's it's cheaper at $4.79 at Michaels, um, but $4.99 at Joann's. So we'll just say that it it's the same price as 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 Karen. So that's what you'll get it for. And then let's scroll down and check out the color options available. So the pricing isn't more, it's not less than Karen Simply Soft. What does it have going for it in the color department? It looks like it has a couple brights. This pumpkin spice is so pretty. Oh look, and it definitely has some variegated or striped yarns. I'm not sure if these are striped or variegated. I can't. Oh ombre so it has some ombre but this looks like it's going to be a tighter ombre it's not going to blend as as well okay so it has ombre and then just keep going has a couple different gray options some reds another bright that aqua is really pretty let's check this blueberry hill it's also an ombre i'm not sure if yarn the soft secret has any striping but it definitely has ombre which in a way can kind of be a stripe look at this bright purple it's a hot grape 
it's really pretty. There was a color like this in Karen Simply Soft as well. So, I mean, that's like the exact color, same color as the Karen Simply Soft was. So it doesn't seem to have as many colors. I mean, we can, we can count them out. I don't mind. I counted 49 and that's including the ombres. So definitely not going to have as many colors to pick from with this yarn but it is around the same price. Okay, so for the Loops and Thread Soft and Shiny, we jumped back over to Michaels because you can only find that in Michaels. And while we're comparing, that is something else I wanna note. Karen Simply Soft, you can find at Joann's, you can find it Michaels, you can find it Walmart, you can find it um, at online at other various places. Yarn B, you can only find at Hobby Lobby, and Loops and Threads, you'll only find at Michaels. Those are exclusive brands, so if you're someone who needs to be able to find it in multiple places, Karen Simply Soft may be the one to go with. If you're someone who wants more color options, possibly Karen Simply Soft, but definitely check out these other two before you make that decision if you're just basing off of colors. Now, if you're someone who wants to go for the cheapest option soft and shiny is gonna be gonna be your gal because the regular retail value is $3.99 whereas Karen was $4.79 and loops and threads was $4.99 now that's not much of a difference but it is it is a difference so the pricing soft and shiny is cheaper than the Yarn B and Karen. It has a ombre or striping option and these are 12 packs that you can buy but that's it. So let's check out the colors. There's 26 of these. Wow that's actually a lot. That's more ombre than what's available in Karen Simply Soft. Ooh look at this one guys. Oh, that one looks so fun. You know, there's one here called Carnival, and I actually used that one in a pride beanie I did, and as a, like, as the rainbow pom-pom. That was really nice. It is definitely ombre if this is, yeah, Carnival right here. Yeah, it's ombre and this color is really nice, so... These are the ombres. There's 26 of these. And then for the soft and shiny solids, they offer 32 colors. So they have less solids than Yarnby and Karen Sibley Soft. But they have, I want to say, more ombre options available. That's a very interesting point. Note that. Let's take a look at the colors they option the colors they offer. I do also want to say in Michaels, the color that they have available in store are slim. Um, I want to say they only have, at least at my Michaels, they only have maybe like five or six different colors at a time of, of this yarn. You'll have a better selection online, of course, with all of these, but I do want to note that as well. If you're someone who only shops in store... Um, the picking is even slimmer than 32 colors, but it looks like they have some brights. Nope, that's not a bright. That's just poison apple. That's the one that I'm using. Okay. Keep going. It's sometimes it's so deceiving. Look at this purple. I should have picked this purple to use, huh? Because all three of the brands definitely have this bright purple. And so nice. So, I mean, it, it's kind of your basic colors. I want to say um, nothing too fancy, nothing too outgoing. Uh, your standards, there's some pastelier shades, some a couple brighter shades, but the, the solids are pretty pretty minimal on like the color options that you get so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and then we can wrap it up and reconvene and actually 
put these to use so that you can see how they work out. Hey everyone, so let's jump into the actual comparison so you can see kind of how these look and how they worked up and the colors and, and just kind of compare. I would like to start out by saying these are rough swatches. I mean, I didn't even want to weave in the ends. I just cut them after I tied a knot. So <laughs> um, I, I was just trying to get them done as fast as I could. But I have a knitted swatch of each. And I have a crocheted swatch. I also want to say for these swatches, I used the recommended hook and needle size per yarn brand on the label. The recommended for each of these is not my personal recommendation. I'll tell you what I think that you should use when you use these yarns, but I wanted to use what they recommended to give you an idea of how these would work up if you did the same, which I know is something that uh, we all do. We really look to the label to tell us what what to use for for our project. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this comparison. So let's look at Karen Simply Soft here. This is Karen Simply Soft on my left. Here's the Karen Simply Soft label and it's your inspirations Karen and Simply Soft is the yarn and then it says there is a free pattern on the label. I am, it's I was assuming, and it's true, it says it's the basic knit hat and scarf, so that's really cool. On the inside of the label here, you will get this free pattern, which is nice, and it's labeling it as an easy pattern. And it is a medium four weight, which I can pull some out here. I, I agree with that. I think it's a thinner four weight, medium four weight, definitely a thinner medium four weight. It is a four though. And then it says the recommended needle size is a five millimeter USH. And then the recommended hook size is a five millimeter USH eight. Machine washable and dryable and it is 100% acrylic, 6 ounces, 170.1 grams, 315 yards, and 288 meters. This is Karen Simply Soft. Then we have Loops and Threads Soft and Shiny, and Soft and Shiny is 311 yards, 6 ounces, 285 meters, and 170 grams, machine washable, a medium, 4 weight. The recommended hook needle size is a 5.5 millimeter US 9, and the hook size is also a 5.5 millimeter US 9. It looks like there is a pattern this is pattern information for the color pop lap blanket, which is here, and it looks like the pattern is also on the inside. So really cool when you buy these, you get a free pattern. And this color is poison apple. I don't think I said this color is autumn red. Okay, and let's do a comparison of these two just on the specs. I'm calling them specs, but the yardage and whatnot. They're both 100% acrylic. Okay, they are both six ounces. The loops and threads is 170 grams and the Karen is 170.1 grams, so 0.1 gram difference. And then Karen is 315 yards and loops and threads is 311 yards. So you get a little bit less with the loops and threads. 285 meters and Karen is 288 meters. So again, you get a little bit less with loops and threads. Okay, 
let's move on to yarn B soft secret I should mention some people really like to know where the yarn is made that is it is important so yarn B is made in China place right now I'm sorry Loops and Threads is also made in China. And Karen Simply Soft, where are you made? Made in the USA with imported fibers. Okay, so made in the USA with imported fibers, China and China hair. Okay says six ounces 170 grams 300 yards 275 meters 100 percent acrylic also labeled as a medium four weight yarn machine washable and this gives you the recommendation of a 4.5 us 7 millimeter there is no crochet hook recommendation Let's grab loops and threads and see how these two compare. And I didn't mention, so this is the loops and threads. This compared to, let's just grab all these. So we're, I'm doing this to talk about the weight. I'm kind of really surprised because I always thought Karen was really thin for a four weight. And it is thin for a four weight. But I would say it's the thickest out of the three the other two are are thinner now yarn bees is I think it's exactly the same as Karen and the loops and threads is is thinner so a thinner four weight these are all thin four weights but loops and threads is definitely I think the thinnest you got more in Karen simply soft than you did with loops and threads barely what about how how does yarn be fair okay yarn be six ounces which is the same as these two 170 grams which is the same as loops and threads less 0.1 less than karen simply soft so i think i know where this is going 300 yards which is less than loops and threads and less than karen simply soft but barely and 275 meters less and less so you're gonna get the least amount in the yarn be soft and secret and this one is actually the most expensive one if you remember from that video uh, well depending on where you buy it it's exactly the same as Karen simply soft so if you just want just a tiny bit more and you're someone who really cares about you know cost to purchase I mean the difference is it's not extreme I I wouldn't even consider it when looking at these personally but that's my opinion if you know that's something you care about then you're going to get the most bang for your buck from one of the other two now Karen Simply Soft asked or recommended that you use a five millimeter hook and five millimeter knitting needles. Now, something I really love about Karen Simply Soft is you can thin or pull it and it makes working with it so much easier. And if you don't use it all, like if you're making a small project like a swatch, you'll still have your band on it. And of course you can tape this and it'll be fine, but I just love that it stays intact and neat because it is, you can pull from the center and I, First off, I love that about working with Karen Simply Soft. Okay, I'm gonna move these guys to their perspective places and we're gonna bring these two swatches up, up to back. Let's, let's talk about Karen Simply Soft first. For Karen Simply Soft, the recommended hook and needle size to use is a five millimeters so I worked up these swatches using my Dollar Tree knitting needles which I recently hauled in that video you should go check it out and I used the Dollar Tree crochet hook and worked up like a dream I know one of the 
biggest complaints about Karen Simply Soft is when you're crocheting, it splits. I personally didn't experience that, um, except for when I was knitting, actually. I experienced that a little bit with knitting. The yarn was just unwinding on me, but that's not, that's not a big deal. Um, here's a closer view of the swatch that I did. This is how it would work up. It looks really nice. You have good stitch definition. Here's the back. Looks really nice. Now, the feel is soft, but it feels, it has this feel as if you were outside playing in the dirt and it got all over your legs and you can just kind of feel a little dirt on you, like you feel dirt, not dirty. I guess you feel dirty. <laughs> But it feels like that. It's it's still soft, but it's an acrylic that uh, I I don't know how to describe it. But it's an acrylic that feels like there's just this layer of roughness on it, just a little bit, and the shine is there, but it's you know it's it's minimal. It's not super shiny, dull. That's what I said. It feels and looks a little dull and then when you work it up I'll hold closer I don't know if it'll focus it gets a little fuzzy like the yarn kind of unwinds and creates this little halo if you can see up here a little fuzzy so that's that's Karen Simply Soft Knitted and then here is the crochet swatch now the bobbles work up beautifully, the double crochets and the half double crochets work up beautifully and here's the back. Now it's not as bad when you're crocheting. So I can see a little bit of that halo at the tip up here if you can see, but it's not bad and it doesn't feel as dull or like layered as the knit the knitted does. So that's to know loops and threads. Okay. So remember I didn't even want to weave in my ends, so I just cut the swatch here, but here's a close-up of the knitted. I didn't block any of these, I just knitted them, and the camera's not picking it up as well. But can you see this shine? On the loops and threads guys there is a little bit of a halo up here so at the top just like with the Karen a bit of a halo but it's so soft this one just kind of like melts this one there's a little bit of stiffness Maybe you could combat this by using a 5.5 millimeter hook. So let's see. This one, yeah, so this yarn recommended a 5.5 millimeter hook. Let me start off with that. So, and knitting needles. So I used my Dollar Tree knitting needles and they worked great. And I used the Dollar Tree the Dollar Tree same that I recently hauled for this. With this knitted, worked up like a dream. It's so drapey, like I hold it and it flops, you know? So this one does too, but like if I'm holding, look at, the, look at that flop. This one's just extreme. This one just holds it together a little more. So maybe Part of that is attributed to the hook size. The smaller hook might keep it stiffer. I love the 5.5 with this yarn, and I love this yarn. It um, It's just so soft and shiny. Here's the back of the stitch, or the swatch. Um, and then here it is crocheted, okay? Look how beautiful that is, guys. Then I'll get closer so you can see. There is a little bit of that halo fuzz. It's yarn, but it's not as extreme. And it's just working with this yarn. I can describe it as uh, the best way. It was silky. 
I guess it's not silk. It's it's by no means let's not compare it to that, but like that's the only word that I can that I know to use to describe this. And it left your fingers actually feeling soft. Like if you were working with wool, that's how it was working with the soft and shiny. It was totally different than this. This is soft, you know, but it's just a little tougher than this. Okay, now let's move on to Yarn B. Let's scoot these guys over so we can bring Yarn B into the shot, okay? Yarn B wants you to use, I believe it's a 4.5. Remember I, com you know, I compared the strands and I think these two were the same, so... And this was a 5, and this one's used a 4.5 for the same thickness, which I thought was really interesting, but I did it anyway. For knitting, I used these Boy 4.5 knitting needles. They're metal. And then I used my own personal 4.5 crochet hook for this. I want to first say these two colors are exactly the same. And it's actually picking up the colors perfectly right now. This one is different and it's not exactly the same as these two colors. And I mean, that shot is showing you how much shinier this one is over Karen, okay? This one's even shinier than this one and Karen, but it, the color is not exactly the same. However, you know, we're not doing this for the colors, we're doing this for the yarn because they are so similar. Here's my knitted swatch of this guy. Um, it didn't split when I worked with it. Um, it was it was nice to work with. Personally, I would use a five or a five point five with this yarn. I would not use a four point five. For all of these I would go for a five or a five point five. I think the five point five gave me the kind of swatch that I like. The the kind of garment I would like to wear would be out of a five point five. So even though these recommend different different needle and hook sizes, personally I would recommend using a five point five. I just want to say that right now. You don't have to agree with me, <laughs> but that's what I, I personally like the way that it feels with this and it's drapey. And it is, of course, more see-through because it's bigger. If you want a tighter stitch, definitely go with a 4.5 or a 5. Um, but I mean, look at that stitch definition. Here's the back. It looks great. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say. Here's a close-up. This one has, out of the three, the least amount of fuzz that comes up. Okay? Um, and, and you can tell when you look at it that it doesn't have as much, like, pull. doesn't feel as rough as these two. This by no means is rough, but for the purpose of this video, right? Here's the swatch and how the crocheted works up. The minimal of that like halo that you see. So to me that means the yarn really held together really well. Okay. If you're looking for a shiny, beautiful four weight yarn, personally I would pick one of these up. Um, there are other options out there for you, um, but we've seen the colors and, and going off what I know that's available with the colors, um, accessibility, for accessibility, you know, if you want to be able to get it at Walmart, you're going to want to go with Karen Simply Soft. But if you have access to Michaels and Hobby Lobby and Joann's, I would go with loops and threads. Um, the downside is a lot of the colors that are available, there's a lot, but you have to order them online. There's like a slim chance that they're gonna have that many in store, which is a downside. 
I wish Michaels carried more in store because I think that would make this even more competitive with these two. This one also doesn't carry as many in store and it had I think the least amount of colors. I can't quite remember but um, these two are extremely comparable on the shine and the softness. I think the only thing holding this one back is the 4.5 recommendation. I think if you used a 5.5 like with this one, it would be exactly the same as this one. And they're both made in China. Maybe they come from the same manufacturer. I'm not sure, but I I think these two are better than this one. I'm sorry. I have to say it. Now my personal favorite is gonna be loops and threads soft and shiny. I mean, I've done the swatches, guys, okay? And just you know, comparing them, this one, the way that it feels when you work with it is unlike these other two. It feels so good when you're working with this one. This one's close, but it's not quite close. I think this one is actually softer than the Yarn Bee. But I think the Yarn Bee might be a tad bit more shiny than the Soft and, the soft and Shiny. I'm, I'm gonna wrap this video up because I've been rambling on. I just wanted to show you how these two worked up. Because if you're like me, you've noticed some similarities at the store, okay, with these three. Alright, I've noticed, I know you've noticed. And you're probably wondering which one's the best. If you want to go with what I say, Lopes and Threads Soft and Shiny is the best. If you want to see more like this video, comment and tell me if you agree with me that Lopes and Threads Soft and Shiny is the best of the, of the three. Or if you disagree or if there are more that are similar to these yarns out there and uh, you want me to try them and review them, I will definitely do that. That's that's going to conclude my comparison and my review. See you next time.